Wow, Stinky. Pretty amazing sneakers. <laughs> More than sneakers, Arnold. Brand new catapult. I saved up my allowance for 15 months to pay for half of these. Too so bad you couldn't afford the deluxe version with the chaser light. Shoot, Gerald. I'd have to be a dang millionaire to buy them. <laughs> Judging by his shoes, I'd say he's a dang millionaire. Okay, Lorenzo, it's the first time you've been to a public school, but there's nothing to be nervous about. Are you sure you'll be okay? Sure, Mom. I I'll be okay. <laughs> I'll be available on your phone, and you've got Dr. Herbert's number two, and don't forget, Peter will be here to pick you up at 325. You'll have to hurry, but you'll just make it to your first after-school appointment. Uh, I got my schedule right here, Mom. Look at me! I'm Mom! Now, class, please give a warm welcome to our new student, Lorenzo, who comes to us from Peavine Academy. Peavine? Uh, yes, and I'm sure that you'll all make him feel right at home. Now, we were discussing the moment in 1876 when Alexander Graham Bell... Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Uh, Lorenzo, we don't allow phones in this classroom. But it's a call. I have to take it. <laughs> Okay, well, Lorenzo, you're new to this class, so I'll allow it this once, but please be brief. Uh, Mom, I have to wrap it up here. Okay, Viola, listen to five. So move it up from 515, right? Bye, Mom. <laughs> Sorry. Viola lessons? <laughs> hey, Viola boy, what you working on? You running some kind of business? Well, sort of. I use this to check my stock sometimes. Hi, Dr. Herbert. I wonder if I could have a few minutes alone with Dr. Herbert. It's my scheduled time with the family therapist. Why don't you call him after recess? No, see, after recess, we have two hours of class, and the rest of the day looks pretty bad. See, then when I get out of my junior investment club, it's viola lessons till six. Then my nutritionist will arrive to fix dinner. Well occurs. Then I read a book, then 15 minutes of flashcards, a half hour of TV at eight, then bed. Mm, mm, mm. Now that's one busy boy. Busy? He's a freak. I mean, look at that schedule. When do you have any fun? I tried to schedule some fun last month, but I had to cancel it. <laughs> Lorenzo, don't you ever just, you know, goof off? Goof off? Do nothing? Hang out? Shoot the breeze? Be a kid? Be a kid? I've never really been asked that question before. Crimin, he's hopeless. OK, time to stop gawking and gadget boy. Let's play kickball now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah. I want to play. Let's All right. Dr. Herbert? Dr. Herbert! You want to play kickball with this, Lorenzo? Oh, no, no. During recess, I always review my ancient Greek flashcards. Oh, yeah, me, me too. Hello, Mom, are you there? OK, well, call me back as soon as you can. Pierce, three minutes late, picking me up, and I'm afraid I'm going to be late for my junior investment club. Now he's three and a half minutes late. I'll call you back in two minutes. Lorenzo, how's it going? Fine. I I'm fine. I mean, it's okay that my ride is three minutes late, and my investment club would have already started, and that makes me late for my viola, and, and oh, I guess my whole schedule will be messed up now. Wait, uh, slow down, Lorenzo. You sound like you're 30 years old. Oh, thank you. No, see, that wasn't a compliment. What I'm saying is you're acting like you're 30 years old, but you're not. You're nine. You're a kid. Arnold, I, I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is my schedule Your is... schedule is driving you crazy. Look at yourself. You've got a beeper in one hand, a cell phone in the other, and you look at your watch every five seconds. You're a mess. I guess I am a little stressed out. Your problem is you don't know how to be a kid. I don't? Look, Lorenzo, what you need to do is put away your phones and beepers and all that stuff and just hang out with us for one afternoon. One whole afternoon of spontaneous, unorganized fun. Hmm. Spontaneous, unorganized fun. That sounds intriguing. If we properly schedule and organize it. Lorenzo, it's just not like that. I'm talking no schedule, just unplanned fun. Well... What have you got to lose? <sighs> okay, I'll try it. Tomorrow, after school, I'll come and, uh, what is it you kids say? Hang out with you guys. Oh, no, I don't... You didn't 
couldn't possibly offer to help Lorenzo, did you? I told him to skip all his appointments and hang out with us after school. Oh, that plan really bites, Arnold. We can take away all his high-tech stuff and show him how to have fun. And for the first time in his life, he'll understand what it's like to be a kid. Your schedule is driving you crazy. Look at yourself, you've got a beeper in one hand, a cell phone in the other, and you look at your watch every five seconds. You're a mess. So, you ready, Lorenzo? Oh, yeah, right. You know, I I've been thinking, and I'm not sure if this whole kid afternoon thing is such a great idea. Lorenzo, you promised me you were going to do this. Yeah, but, but you I... You can do it. Give me the beeper, give me the cell phone. What's that thing? Give it to me, too. Peter, I won't be going to my next three appointments. I'll leave this with you. Okay, Lorenzo. You got a lot of work to do. Mr. Fudgy, a Scottish Terrier. Rising cumulonimbus formations. colorings and flavorings? Why do you eat this? Uh, cause it's good. What I like to do is smear some around my mouth and then lick it off later after I finish the rest. Yeah, I like to eat them in one bite. Brain <laughs> <laughs> freeze, I ate it! <laughs> oh, it hurts, mommy! <laughs> I don't get it. What's so funny? Lorenzo. It's no use. I'll never learn how to be a kid. Come on, Lorenzo. You're just getting started. Don't give up hope. Come on, you bunch of wussy babies. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, Bubba, watch this. walk across this pipe, do you? Go ahead. You can do it. But what if I fall? It's only mud, Lorenzo. You can do it. Uh, Arnold, this is pointless. It's mildly dangerous, and all we're going to accomplish is to get money and smelly. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, Mom, I'm fine, I'm fine. What are you 
talking about? You're covered in mud. You've missed all your appointments. You... But it was great. I threw rocks in the dumpster. I played baseball. I looked at the clouds. I ate food with no nutritional value. Mom, for the first time ever, I felt like a real kid. This is terrible. I'm going to call Dr. Herbert. Mom, calm down. Don't do this to me in front of my friends. Your friends? I like these kids. I like this school. I want to stay at PS 18. <sighs> okay, Lorenzo. I sense your passion about this, and we'll discuss it at our family production meeting on Monday. Okay. Time to go, Lorenzo. Thanks, Arnold. Hello. Right? See you tomorrow, Arnold. I might be running a little late. Take the highway, Peter. We're behind schedule. Well, Arnold, Lorenzo's back on schedule. One small step at a time, Gerald. Whatever you say, Arnold.